Hi everyone, this is Teacher Hasty and today I'm gonna teach you how to improve your presentation skills with the help of Microsoft Presenter Coach. Are you ready? With another episode of Teacher Hasty, and like what I told you today, we'll be exploring the features of the Microsoft Office mobile app and we'll be improving our presentation skills by making use of the PowerPoint Presenter Coach. So I'm really excited to use this because I have problems with presenting and I have speaking anxiety, so I think that Microsoft could really help me improve my confidence in speaking so without further ado let me head you over to our office mobile app so i'll be dropping the link below in the description section where can you download the microsoft office mobile app so now we're at the home page of our microsoft office mobile app and you can already see the previous documents i worked on but we're doing it the long way so I'm heading you over to actions click the actions button and scroll to the lower part and you'll see there rehearse with presenter coach so it's only a preview but it's nice that we are already able to use it even though the features are not full yet I suppose so Microsoft just opened the app for me and now I'm presenting so screen recording is unable to record but i think i'm okay so now we're going to start the practice or the rehearsal so good morning welcome to the division webinar on capacitating ict coordinators on online distance learning i'm hazel angeline e tesoro and today we're going to talk about microsoft sway and how you can use it to reduce the transactional distance in your online distance learning modality so let's move on So here's a video on how you can use Sway in the classroom and in many other purposes. So let me wait for you. My presentation kasi is saved on OneDrive. So it depends on my internet connection if it will work. So you cannot hear the video right now because... I have my microphone plugged in. <laughs> so there, skip na natin yan and head on to the other parts of the presentation. This is my first time to use this, so I'm still a bit confused. A few moments later. And we're back to the rehearsal, so I had trouble in moving over to the next slide because my phone controls are visible so I hid them for a while so now we're going to move on to the next slide with Microsoft Sway you can and with that thank you so much again this is Hazel Angeline Itesoro teacher from Barra Senior High School so ayan so I'm gonna end now my presentation pagod na ako kakasalita end session Ayan, so it generates a report. A few moments later. So here now is our rehearsal report. So ayan, so you can see the summary. So sabi niya, good job. So slides rehearsed, but isa lang. So we have uh, the total time spent, 3 minutes and 46 seconds. We can also rate our experience, our rehearsal experience. So syempre, 5. Have more to say. Siguro next time na lang kasi nangangawit na ako kapag hawak ng tripod. So, ayan. I can send feedback and even include my email address. Ayan. Send feedback tayo. So, yon We also have the sensitive phrases. No sensitive phrases found. Great job using inclusive speech. Ayan. So, you can see that Microsoft has AI built in within it. So, it detects if your language has sensitive speech in it. So, you avoided reading slide text aloud. That's good for keeping the audience engaged with your message. Ayan. So, my originality report, that's nice. So, we didn't 
read lahat ng content ng slide. Siguro nga kasi nade-detect ni Microsoft yun. So, ayan, yung pacing natin. So, um, hindi tayo masyadong slow, hindi rin tayo masyadong fast. Ayan, so your pace is just right. Keep it up. Saya-saya naman nun. So, we also have yung words per minute and then we have then yung chart. So, may ano siya dito. May chart siya. So, that's nice. Pitch, good pitch variation increases liveliness. So, I'm not so sure if this is compliment or Microsoft instructs me to improve my pitch. So, click nga natin yung learn more. So, it led me to support. Ayan, support at Microsoft.com. So, ayan, so this is also a helpful website where you can read tips on how to avoid yung sensitive speech, how you can improve originality, improve your pitch. Ayan. So, ang saya-saya, no? Presenter, coach. Walang ganito nung bata pa kami, kaya swerte yung mga bagets ngayon, ano? There are a lot of tech advancements right now that they could maximize and make use of to improve themselves. Ang saya-saya, no? Okay, so, balik tayo dun sa ano ko sa report. Ayan, filler is fantastic. You didn't say too many filler words in your speech. Okay, that's okay. So, you can rehearse again for that matter. So, pag ni-rehearse again, so, magsistart ulit siya ng session. But, I'm gonna end that. Ayun. So, pag pala naka portrait ako, there. So, my icons pa na nag-show and it would be easier for me to move on from one slide to another. Kasi may controls dito. Unlike pag naka-landscape siya. Kasi kanina landscape ako nag-rehearse. So, there's also the time here. You can pause that. You can stop it. So, yun. And so far, ang CSA ng presenter coach and I'm really happy that Microsoft helped me by showing reports on how my speech went and how to improve my presentation skills by um, leading me to a website where I can read a lot of tips pa on how to um, present my content very well. So with that, I hope that you learned something and I hope that you can also get to use Microsoft Office presenter coach, PowerPoint presenter coach, so that you can rehearse and practice and at least alleviate a little of your speaking anxiety before facing people and before presenting your content online, diba? Kasi we are now in the new normal and doing our virtual presentations in front of a screen and some of us are even camera shy and that adds more to the tension pa as we speak so ayan i hope that this video helped you on how to use powerpoint presenter coach and i'm excited to to hear from you on how your rehearsals went and with that thank you so much don't forget to like and subscribe and of course hit the bell button so that you'll be updated of my future uploads thank you so much